Wake Forest is getting fired up down there as they get ready to boot this opening kickoff. He really got a hold of that kick. He's to the 20. Brought down at the 29. The quarterback leads the team out on the field for the first drive. Nice run, and he's brought down. It's second down, six yards to go. Ball on the 33. Gets to about the 34-yard line. So the option keeper goes for about a yard. This safety is as vicious a player as you're going to find. He will make the tackle every single time. From their own 34-yard line, it's third down. Quarterback all by himself in the backfield with five wideouts. Caught with room to work. Brought down at the 47-yard line. When you can move the ball downfield in big chunks like that, you've got the defense right where you want them. Laterals back. Room around the corner. Runs right for a nice gain. They're about four yards away here on second down. Tackle at the 46-yard line. Tackled after a decent run up the gut. So the ground game picks up another first down. Boy, this really works on a defense's psyche. You can see the guys on defense right now just trying to catch their win. Once again, they had a chance to bring this drive to a halt, but were unable to do it. The offense really seems to be clicking right now. Gets it out quickly, and he's taken down at the 18-yard line. Besides going deep on the fade, the slant route is probably the most commonly run route against man coverage. If the receiver gets a good inside release, it'll be a new set of downs every time. From the 18-yard line, first down. Travis sets up the play action. He fires left side. He got a hand on it, but it's incomplete. Terrific coverage. And when you clog up passing lanes like that, you can force a quarterback to make some poor decisions. Almost got themselves a turnover, too. And this is the ninth play of the current drive. Quick throw. The 10. And they make the stop around the nine-yard line. Third and one, ball on the nine-yard line. He gets out to about the six-yard line. This is the 11th play of this drive. Nice run there. A five-yard pickup by the halfback on the misdirection. From the one-yard line, second down. Touchdown, Florida State! Great job of finding the space to run and just bursting in for six. He splits the uprights with the extra point. Here's an update from the studio and Reese Davis. 
The Wolfpack took the field ranked 20th, but they had their noses out of joint about it. Thought they were undervalued, disrespected, and ready to take it out on somebody. And for North Carolina State, they've won two straight. The Wolfpack take the game 27-17. In another game, the Sooners come into today's game ranked third in the country. And for Oklahoma, they continue their winning ways. And for Gray, he hit the 100-yard mark in this one. Oklahoma finishes it off 20 to 14. Thanks, Reese. 7-0 game here. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Town from the four. And he's hammered down. You know, Herbie, for an offensive coordinator, he's got to love this kid. Hartman's decision-making abilities make him very effective against any defense he's ever played, really. Well, defenses have to put pressure on him and not let him get comfortable. If you allow him to scan the field, he'll simply pick you apart. If you can disrupt his rhythm, it'll give you a chance to at least shutting him down. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. Nice gain of around seven yards on that delay. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. He gets out to about the 35-yard line. Wake Forest got a guy that statistically is leading the conference right now, and he has got the attention of everybody in the country, including the coordinators. And he's tackled after positive yardage. From their own 40-yard line, it's first down. Caught over the middle. He's taken down at midfield. So it's second down, and they're only about a foot away from picking up the first down. Halfback's got it on the quick throw, and down he goes at the 44-yard line. middle for a nice game from the 39 yard line second down fires it out tackle made right around the 24 yard line the 24 yard line first down makes the catch and look out and he's tackled at about the 13 we're at play number nine of this current drive They'll bring him down around the 16-yard line. If these defenders continue to exploit the O-line like that, it's going to be a long day for this running back. From the 16-yard line, second down. Taken down in the backfield. It's the 11th play of the drive. Has all day to throw. 
Zings it over the middle. Touchdown. And for Perry, he's now in double digits for touchdown catches this year. I can see now why this quarterback calls him his favorite target. Whenever this guy's near the end zone, he gets him the ball. They'll line up for the extra point in an attempt to tie the game. He makes the PAT. So an 11 play, 72 yard drive, and they put up seven points. Brad, I thought that was a textbook drive. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass. Just an overall well executed touchdown drive. We get a tie game at 7 7. Tackle at the 25. Let's find out if the defense has made any adjustments after giving up a touchdown on that last drive. So much of the passing game is about the timing between the quarterback and his wide receivers. And right now with this offense, they are in sync, and really the timing and execution is flawless. Fires out quickly to the tailback. About six yards on the play. The defense here let the halfback roam free for a second, and they were able to connect for a short gain on the play. They come out in an empty backfield. He's tackled at about the 27-yard line. You're not going to see this very often from this running back. He just got gobbled up pretty deep in the backfield. We've got third and eight. Ball on their own 27. Quick strike, and he drops it. That's just a great play to separate the ball from the receiver. He'll be feeling that hit tomorrow. They've got 10 guys up. They're coming after the kick. He's taken down at the 42. The quarterback is on his way back onto the field, and he led a great drive last time out. And he throws it away. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on their own 42. Steps out at the 49. We played one. We're even at seven in this one. Back to the action here in the second quarter. It's been a good one and a tight one at this point. He airs it out. Incomplete. Well, the defense stood tall there. Well, the defense did what they had to do to get three and out and now get the offense back on the field. Mora is the punter. This one will go into the end zone and they'll bring it out to the 20. You always want to go in the locker room with momentum. So as we get closer to halftime, I think we'll see more and more attempts to create big plays. He's got an opening. Runs outside for a nice game. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. He gets rid of this one. Fires incomplete. That's going to bring up fourth down. Great hold by the defense. They were expecting the pass play, and they defended it very well.
Not great, but not bad either. As long as your main priorities are not turning the ball over and establishing solid field position, then you're headed in the right direction. This is the point in the game where you don't want to make any mistakes that give the other guys a reason to feel more confident going into halftime. And he's level at the 29-yard line. Sometimes it's just a relentless pass rush that results in a sack. And that's what happened there. Defense looking for another sack in the second down and long situation. Makes it to the 41. Catches it, and that's all. Williams gains about four yards there. Jacobs is the deep man awaiting the return. You always want to go in the locker room with momentum, so as we get closer to halftime, I think we'll see more and more attempts to create big plays. And they get him in the backfield for a loss. It's a big-time read by this safety. You know, a lot of times as a safety, you're sitting back there making sure there isn't a play-action pass or a play potentially that can go behind you. I think this safety has that sixth sense. His instincts on that play were special. He read the run, got into the backfield, and made the play. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. Third down and six yards to go. Ball on their own 38. And off, and he won't make it. There are a lot of players in the college game that can make something happen when the blocking breaks down. But when it's that bad, I don't care who you are, you're going down for a loss. He makes it out to maybe the 36-yard line. He did a good job there to give his team decent field position. This is the point in the game where you don't want to make any mistakes that give the other guys a reason to feel more confident going into halftime. Throws in a hurry. Man, I don't know if this quarterback misread the defense or just made a poor decision, but that wasn't a pass he should have thrown. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on their own 36. On the ground, right side. Got the corner. Makes it to the 47. at the 49-yard line. The defense had that one called perfectly. That's a big play on that loss. Second down, 14 coming up here. Ball on their own 49. Two yards at the most on the fullback option. Taken down at the 36-yard line. 
from the 36 yard line. First down. Gives it right side. Nice run, and he's brought down. Slings it. A pickup of about three. Nice grab there by the tailback to at least move the ball forward for some positive yards. And so it's another third down upcoming here. And he makes it out to about the 24-yard line. It's the ninth play of the drive. Carries the ball for a nice game. From the 20 yard line, it's second down. He makes his way out to about the 12. Good solid running right there. Getting past the defensive lineman and into the secondary before he could be stopped. Here's the 11th play of the drive. Nice run there. Turner gains about four yards on the play. Wake Forest is going to have to use their second time out of the half. From the eight-yard line, second down. Another run. They'll knock him down for a loss. Well, this is the kind of play you want to see if you're a defensive player because not only is it a negative play, but this can really impact and affect the emotion of the game. Just looking down and looking at the energy on the field and even on the sidelines, you can see that the defense is fired up after that play. 13th play of the drive coming up. Zips it to the back, and they make the stop at about the three-yard line. Fourth down. They're going to go for the easy three here. Wake Forest is looking to go up by three. The kick is up, and he got it. Reese Davis is standing by with this update. Reese, Let's take a look at some scores around the country. The top teams roll. And for Maryland, they're looking for their fourth straight win. The Terrapins are on top, 31-17. And for the Seminoles, you know, the amount of parity we see with conference play each year, it's really important you win every game, regardless of what your opponents are doing. He's to the 20. He's tackled at the 22-yard line. Right now, this game's got all the makings of maybe being a nail-biter. Yeah, this game just feels like it's going to go well into the second half, probably into the fourth quarter. You almost have a feel that maybe one of the defenses may have to score a touchdown to be able to win this game. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Looks left. Intercepted to the 20. Brought down at the six. He seemed a little hesitant on that throw. And that left the defender time to break on the ball and pick it off. First down, and they've got their eyes on that goal line. Wake Forest holds a field goal lead. He's taken down right around the 10-yard line. And he shoved out of bounds around the two-yard line.
Touchdown, Deacons. There are some guys, when they get near the goal line, they just have a knack for getting the ball into the end zone. That's what we saw right there. And he adds the extra point with a three-play, six-yard drive, and that's good for a touchdown. The score now, 17-7. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Offense comes back out, looking to improve from their last effort. The first rule on offense is to take care of the football. These guys need to remember that on this drive. Tackled after a decent run up the gut. Seven yards there on the option pitch to the halfback. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. They go with a screen here, and the halfback's got it. And down he goes, right around the 36-yard line. Benson picks up about four yards with a catch. He did a really good job of standing in against the rush and getting the ball right to the receiver's hands. Going deep, lays it out there, and it's picked off. Well, we've played a half of football. Demon Deacons on this with a 10-point lead. We've played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. No impressive rushing numbers in the first half. Both teams continued to try to establish the run. They were very stubborn about it, though neither one was very successful. But you got the sense at times that it was a little predictable that maybe the defense knew exactly what was coming every time. The run game is extremely important. It's important because it's body blows to a defense and you loosen them up, I think, later in the game. It opens it up to play action. But that doesn't mean that your script goes... First and 10, I have to run the football. Mix it up, keep them off balance, keep the defense guessing. You've seen across college football, the teams with the most balance seems to be the most successful offenses. Just about ready to start the second half. We're going to watch all the games around the country, including some coaches who like to sample the surface that they're playing on. I'll, I'll keep an eye on that. Yeah, I'm going to go to the cafeteria. You want some turf, some AstroTurf or anything? Yeah, if they've got some, I'll chew on that in the second half. Here's the second half for you to chew on with Brad and Kirk. All right, Reese and David, welcome back, everybody. Just about set to start the second half. Taken from the three-yard line. Brought down at the 27-yard line. They're ready to begin another drive. He's tackled around the 23-yard line. It's second down now and 14 to go. Ball on their own 23. Laterals back. He's gobbled up in the backfield. Well, the defensive line got such a good push up front that there was no one on the offense to account for the linebacker. And he got through almost untouched. Going long. Doesn't get there. Well, the offense catches a break here. That ball should have been intercepted there by the safety, so the quarterback gets the ball back here for this next down. Everybody up close. It looks like they're coming after this kick. It's away, and it's a booming punt. Jacobs takes it at the 33. He makes it to the 42-yard line. 
There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Looking for the corner. Good outside run there. Benson comes away with five yards on the carry. We've got a second and five. Ball on their own 47. Runs it left for a decent game. Just throws this one away. You know, when you feel pressure like that, the worst thing you want to do is just to throw the ball into coverage. He got away with one right there. He's very fortunate. Next time, he should just throw it away out of bounds. Five guys will be out in the pattern as they're in the shotgun. Finds his man, and they take him down immediately. About a seven-yard pickup that time on the pass. Good decision here. Nice dump off. It's only seven yards, but the offense will take that play every time. They're about four yards away here on third down. They'll bring him down around the 36-yard line. Let's see if he aims for the sideline and tries to get this thing down deep in their own territory. That was a nice little pooch kick right there. And that's why they made the decision to punt the ball right there. They wanted to pin this offense deep in their own territory. This team really trusts their defense. So now both teams come trotting back out onto the field. Tackled after a decent pickup. Turner gets six yards on the play. Second and five coming up here. Ball on the 21-yard line. Throw in left. The defender had his hands on it, but it's incomplete. These guys, especially in the secondary, really get after it and can make life hard for the play callers on the other side of the ball. He's tackled at the 32-yard line. From their own 32-yard line. First down. He's pushed out of bounds at the 38. catch there before he stepped out of bounds. He made a really good move at the line of scrimmage. Sometimes all you need to do is throw off the defender's timing just a little bit at the start of the play. From their own 47-yard line, it's first down. He gets another carry. Tackle made at the 48-yard line. Once again, a yard, maybe two on the carry. One thing the coaches always say about this sophomore is that he has great lateral movement. That lets him move well behind this defensive line and get after a lot of plays in the running game. This is the eighth play of this drive. Catches it. He gets hit out of bounds right around the 42-yard line. From the 42-yard line, first down. Tackle around the 17-yard line.
This is the 10th play of this drive. That's a great tackle at the 25. Defense looking for another sack in the second down and long situation. And he's taken down at the 29-yard line. This defensive end just showed us why he's much more than just a pass rusher. And this is the 12th play of the drive. He's hit and taken down. I know the defense would have liked to have prevented such a big game, but the important thing is that they held and brought up fourth down. It's fourth down, and the offense is getting set to go for it. He's wrapped up for the sack. The offense couldn't convert, and that's going to cost him the possession. Their last drive resulted in a punt, so let's see if they can put together something a little more promising here. Down two possessions. This offense has to step up and capitalize on this possession. And he's tackled after positive yardage. He keeps it on the option and picks up maybe four. From their own 31-yard line. Second down. Runs outside for a nice game. Tackled for a loss. You're not going to see this very often from this running back. He just got gobbled up pretty deep in the backfield. From their own 33-yard line, second down. He gets rid of this one. Even though they didn't sack him, the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass. If you can get in there and disrupt the pocket, then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers. They come out in an empty backfield. Lost the ball. Fumble. Looks like the offense has it. And they will keep the drive alive by recovering their own fumble. The sack makes this a fourth and very long. Whoa, he just took a licking. So they're just about set to get the game going again. Here's the throw to the fullback. And they make the stop at the 43-yard line. So with one quarter remaining, Wake Forest leads 17-7. All right, we're just about set to start action here again in the fourth quarter. And he tackles him hard at the 46. 
Third down, and they need to get it inside the 47. He rifles it to the right, makes the catch, and gets out of bounds. Wide receiver's role in a play-action pass is to get into position and to hit his spot in timing and rhythm with the quarterback. And that's exactly what they were able to do on this last play. You realize you've got a little bit more time because of the play action, uh, and it gives you more time to get to that point that the quarterback's looking for you to be at, but make sure you do a good job of selling your route and getting in position to give an open target for the quarterback. So it's second and 12. Ball on the 43-yard line. And he makes it out to about the 41-yard line. Quick throw. Brought down at the 22. Good job by the offensive line to pick up the linebacker on the blitz. That gave the quarterback enough time to find his man for a nice game. From the 22-yard line, first down. And he hits him hard at the 24. And this play is number eight on the drive. And he is drilled at the eight-yard line. It's first down, and they'll be looking for six points here. And he's level at the four-yard line. Tenth play of the drive. They're crowding the line. Touchdown, Demon Deacons. A powerful push by the line and a really nice run. That'll get you into the end zone almost every time. And he adds the extra point. Let's get an update now. Here's Reese Davis. Reese. Let's take a peek at the ACC. And for Syracuse, they've lost two in a row. The Terrapins claim the W. 34-24. Thanks, Reese. 24-7 in our game here. Mora has the ball all teed up, and he's ready to kick this one off. He's to the 20. At the 30. He's knocked out of bounds at the 36. Wake Forest is just not going to let him come for air, I guess. Well, this defense has just been stifling. They've shut down the running game. They've, for the most part, limited the big plays in the pass game. And they've got a nice lead here in the fourth quarter. It's going to be interesting to see how the action shakes out in this series. Here's the halfback on the screen. He's tackled in the open field. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. Throws a bullet. He's taken down at the 38-yard line. What a throw for a big game. That is a great example of the quarterback seeing the whole field and finding the guy who had the best chance of making a catch. From the 38-yard line, it's first down. Makes the catch and look out. 
He steps out around the 31 yard line. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. And down he goes at the nine. First down, and they've got their eyes on that goal line. Nice run there. Seven yard scamper on the keeper. Now he tries to buy some time, and he's tackled at the one. He scrambled and maybe picked up a yard there. Third and goal. About a yard to Pater. Touchdown, Seminoles. This kid is a really reliable weapon. You definitely want the football in his hands near the end zone, and he showed you why right there. And he hits the PAT. It was a seven-play, 65-yard drive, and it results in a touchdown. Brad, I thought that was a textbook drive. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass. Just an overall well-executed touchdown drive. And he's tackled at the 45-yard line. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. He fights forward to about the 40, and the halfback carries for a pickup of three. Second and seven. Ball on the 40. Just under three to go in regulation. Gets to about the 41-yard line. They'll bring him down right around the 48-yard line. Brad, you can really feel and sense the energy coming from the sidelines right now. They know how important it is to pick up first downs. And the coaches right now are showing the excitement that they have and yelling out the next play for the offense. But clearly, the offensive coordinator very happy about the execution on that last play. Nice run there as they work the outside. Turner gains around six yards on the run. Florida State will have one timeout remaining. They're about four yards away here on second down. And he carries the ball for a nice game. The defense had a great opportunity there, and they let it go. This is an offense that's clearly working clock. They've got to get more aggressive defensively and attack the line of scrimmage to be able to slow down this offense from getting first down. He's at the 30, makes it to the 27. It's first and 10. Ball on the 27-yard line. He makes it out maybe to the 26-yard line. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Under a minute left in the game. They'll knock him down for a loss. That's
that's going to do it for this one. Our final score, 24-14, Demon Deacons. That's it for this presentation of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreet, I'm Brad.